It was a highly energetic and ambitious campaign, one that resulted in our party forming the largest official opposition in Alberta's history. We have 38 MLAs who are excited and who are getting to work representing their constituents and, and also holding this government to account. There has never been an official opposition in Alberta that is made up of a majority of women. Never. We elected the first black woman in Alberta's history, the first two-spirited MLA, and the second Indigenous woman. 40% of our MLAs are racialized. And not only is our caucus incredibly representative of the people of this province, they are also incredibly talented and they are leaders in their fields. All of that is, of course, for me to say that they would have made an amazing, amazing cabinet. Now, I can't say I'm not disappointed that we won't be sitting around the cabinet table together beginning next Thursday. However, I will be absolutely honoured to stand with these folks in the legislature next week. Now, next week I will be announcing caucus assignments and responsibilities and further developing our priorities. And, for the record, I intend to be there as we do that work every step of the way. Now, I know in the last few weeks there's been speculation about where the NDP in Alberta goes from here. Well, what we're going to do is continue to grow our support. Contrary to the naysaying of some pundits, our party earned more support in this election than ever before in our history. We won every seat in Edmonton and we earned the majority of the ridings in Calgary. We captured ridings we've never held before. We defeated several high-profile UCP ministers and frankly, we very nearly overturned the government. All this being said, I know that we were not successful in forming government and for that, as I've said before, I take responsibility. That's what it means to be leader. In the coming months, there will be a process set out through the party for debriefing the campaign and for understanding what worked and what didn't. Our candidates, our campaigns and our members will be actively involved and invited to be part of that review. But speaking personally and preempting the question, like all leaders, after an election, I will take the time to consider my role as leader. I did that after 2015, I did that after 2019 and I'm doing it now. And when I've made a decision, when I've reached a conclusion, I will be sure to let Albertans know. As of now, my number one priority is to do the work Albertans have asked of us and nothing less. That is our intention as a caucus and that is what my plan is as leader. We will be the strongest and most effective official opposition Alberta has ever had.